Dreams have been a subject of fascination and curiosity since the beginning of time. In fact, dreams are mentioned in the Bible more than any other form of divine communication, including visions, angels, or God speaking directly to people. In this video, we will be exploring 12 dreams that indicate God's calling upon your life. Also let us know in the comment section below which of these dreams you've ever had. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Receiving a Bible If you often dream of receiving Bibles or scrolls in your dream, it means God has entrusted you with the Word. This means He is calling you to preach His message or His Word. This might also mean is preparing you for ministry. As the Bible says in Romans 10 verse 15, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. So if you often have this dream, take heart and know that God has a special plan for you. Number 2. Preaching When you dream about often preaching or sharing the gospel, it's also a sign that God may have called you into ministry. He wants you to spread His message and reach out to others. As Romans 10 verse 15 says, How can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Take this time to prepare yourself for the work God has called you to do. Number 3. Angels According to the book of Hebrews, God sends ministering spirits to those who are heirs of salvation. If you frequently keep seeing angels in your dreams, it means that you are experiencing a divine encounter with the heavenly realm. This is truly a remarkable indication that God is sending His messengers to you to give you divine ministrations. The word angel also means messenger, and so you have to pay attention to whatever message they are giving you, and ask the Lord to give you more understanding. However, if you receive a specific message in a dream, it must not contradict the Word of God, because God is not the author of confusion. Remember the Bible says the devil himself can also transform into an angel of light. But if the messages agree with God's promises in his word, that will be a sign that it is God speaking to you. Number 4. Anointing Oil When you dream of being anointed with oil by a man of God or a pastor, it's a sign that the Lord is pouring his anointing upon you. This means he's preparing to send you out into the world to do great things in his name. Just like in Psalm 133 verse 2, where it says, It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on Aaron's beard, and down on the collar of his robe. So trust in God's plan, and know that he is equipping you with his anointing to do amazing things. Number 5. Preacher or Mentor If you frequently dream about being taught by a man of God, it could mean that God is training you for ministry. In Acts 2 verse 17, it says, And in the last days it shall be. God declares that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Also, pay attention to the specific man or woman of God teaching you in your dream. If it's a minister of God you know in real life, it might be a sign that God wants to use them to mentor or teach you. Take a closer look at their teachings as God might have a specific message for you. And if you dream of a specific minister frequently, it could be a sign that God is calling you to minister in the same area. For example, if you know a minister who focuses on healing, it means God might be calling you into the healing ministry. Likewise, if it's a minister who mostly evangelizes, it means God is calling you into that area too. Number 6. Dreaming of praying for others. When you pray for others in your dreams and witness miracles happening, it's a clear sign that God has bestowed upon you divine power from above, as mentioned in Acts 2 verse 17. The same goes for when you dream of performing deliverance and casting out demons. On the other hand, if you pray or cast out demons in your dreams, but they remain unresponsive, it indicates that you have been called to ministry but you're still spiritually weak. The Bible reminds us that prayer and fasting can help us to gain more strength. In this case, give yourself more to prayer and fasting and ask God to equip you with more power. Number 7. Crown Wearing a crown in a dream could be a sign that God is calling you to leadership. The crown represents royalty and authority, 
and God might be showing you that you have what it takes to lead others towards a common purpose. The Bible says in Proverbs 8 verses 15 to 16, By me kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. If you have this dream, know that God believes in you and has equipped you for this role. Number 8. Dream of a Throne Room If you've had a dream that you were in a throne room, chances are you've been called to serve in the house of God. The context of this dream can be found in the book of Revelation when John experiences a vision of the heavenly throne room of God. This dream is often a sign that you have been chosen by God to serve Him in a unique way. Just as John was called to serve in the presence of God, you too have been called to serve in a similar manner. This calling may look different for each individual, but it often involves a deep commitment to the things of God, a willingness to forsake all else, and an eagerness to serve others. If you've had this type of dream, it's important to seek God's guidance to discern how He is specifically calling you to serve. Once you have identified your calling, be obedient to it and remain faithful even in the face of challenges. Number 9. Dream of a Cross Another dream that might indicate that God is calling you to be an evangelist is a dream of a cross. This dream might mean that God wants you to preach the word of salvation and lead others to Christ. The cross is a symbol of Jesus' sacrifice and his love for us. And if you dream of a cross, it might mean that you are being chosen to spread that message. As it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. Number 10. Dream of a Voice have you ever had a dream where you heard a voice speaking to you? This dream might indicate that God is calling you for a specific purpose. However, the most important thing to remember is the voice that spoke to you and what it said. If the voice said something which clearly violated the word of God, then it cannot be the voice of God. But if the voice that spoke to you gave you instructions that matched the word of God, then that voice was the voice of God. The voice might be a message from God, guiding you towards your destiny. You might feel a strong sense of direction or feel compelled to take a certain action. If you have a dream of a voice, number 11. Ladder. Dreaming of ladders is a sign that God is calling you to a higher spiritual level. He wants you to climb higher and draw closer to Him. In Matthew 6 verse 33, we are reminded to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things will be added to us. Fasting and diving deeper into God's word will help you grow spiritually and move up the ladder. As it says in James 4, 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Number 12, dream of catching fish. Catching fish in your dreams is more than just a random occurrence. It can symbolize God's provision as well as the spreading of the gospel. Remember Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. In one of his parables, he also used fish to represent the different kinds of people who will enter God's kingdom. So, if you've been dreaming of catching fish, it could be a message from God that he has opened doors for you to share the good news with others. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel.